don't know what kind of look to do today. My lips are really dry. Let's put some Vaseline. I know I want to use the Armed and Gorgeous palette from Jaclyn Hill. This one here. Um, I quite like that shade on camera, that one there. I don't really know if you saw that in the viewfinder then, because I can't really see it. But if everybody knows today. Am I going with the shade? We're going with the shade Mugshot. That one right there. And I'm gonna do one eye on camera and do the other one off camera. And I've already got setting powder underneath my eyes because I've got my bake already done. So this, I don't know what this is actually. So this is a Real Techniques, I think this is a soft crease brush, I'm not quite sure. It's that one there. So all I'm doing at the minute is I'm just patting on the mugshot shade into my crease and then I'll go in in a bit and blend it all in but like I said I'm gonna do one eye on camera and do my other one off camera and I always like to do my right eye on camera because that's my the good eye this is the one that I enjoy blending eyeshadow on I don't quite like my left eye um, I think we've all got an eye or a part of our body that doesn't behave as well. Like, I like my left eyebrow, I don't like my right eyebrow. I feel like this one takes the longest to get my brows done. And what I'm doing now is just where that colour ends, I'm just applying my brush right there and just softly making some circle movements just to get that edge blended. And then once it's blended, what I'll do again is I'll pick up some more of that mug shade mug shot shade and apply some more into the crease because when you do blend colours um, they do tend to fade a bit so I'm just going to blend that out and what I like to do is because I've got a bit of a hooded lid so like this bit of my the skin overhangs on my eyelid so I like to tilt my head back and then look down at my mirror to see where the colour is applying so then when I look up I can see exactly where the colour is when I, my eyes are looking straight at you. So I'm just going to blend all of this in. And as you can see, I'm making it quite rounded today as well. Actually, I will wing it out a bit. So I've not got any additional product on my brush. I'm just literally blending everything in. So now that's blended on the edges, I'm going to go back in and just pat some more of Mugshot into the crease. So you can see like it's brought that intensity back in but the edges are still fully blended. I'm just going to quickly lightly go blend over it anyway. I'm going to pick up a, let's do this one, so this is a Morphe M433 brush which is a shorter and it's pinched at the ferrule right there. So the brush is um, a bit more small compared to my Real Techniques one. And I'm gonna pick up, I think, the colour. What shall we go with? Sorry, I can't search the web. I didn't want you, Siri, but okay. So I'm gonna pick up the shade Alert, which is this orangey colour here. It's like a burnt orange. And I'm lightly just going to tap that over the end of Mugshot, just so we've got a bit of orange coming through. So you can see it's just brought a bit more brightness to the eye look. And that just blended in really nicely. So I'm just going to build this up to how I want it. And then go back in with my other brush and just lightly blend. While we are here actually, what I might do is take that mugshot shade and go on the lower, lower lash line like this. My camera battery is at 50% already. Let's hope this goes well. So all I'm doing is just connecting the top with the bottom at the edge right here. So because this brush has got a slant to it, it hugs my eye contours very easily. So I can easily blend and join up to the upper eye. So I don't want to bring it all the way into here because I want some brightness in there with a, another shade. It's been raining 
quite heavily recently. So I'm going to pick up that other brush from Morphe and go in with the Alert shade and just go underneath the mug shot. Again, we want to mir um, mirror everything that's on the top down to the bottom. Okay, so I'm happy with that for now. Now in this palette there isn't a white colour. So I'm going to go into my Makeup Revolutions bronzer palette thing and pick the lightest colour. Uh, I'm just going to apply this underneath my brow bone just to bring back some light. So I don't want it to look messy. I still want it to look like I've got a brow there. And doing that will also help your eyebrows look a bit more lifted too. And it just cleans up at the same time as well. So I'm just applying this, I don't know what brush this is. I brought it from TK Max. it was like a set. And then I'm going back with that Morphe brush and just lightly grazing over the top of it just to blend it all in so there's no harsh lines. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade on camera, which is like this shimmery gold color. And I'm gonna use my finger to apply this first. And then I'll go in with a brush and blend it in. I just wanted a really quick, simple eye look today. Oh my god, it's so dark outside. It's like literally black out there. So once you've got that down, I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Geek uh, Defined Crease Brush and just pick a little bit more of that shimmery shade up and blend the edges. Now I would go in with uh, a flat brush, I can't find it at the minute. Um, the one that you use all the time, like this one. But what that's gonna do is it's gonna cut the crease and with this blending brush, it'll just soften the edges a little bit because I don't want that cut crease. And because it's got that tip on the brush anyway, it will give it a soft cut crease and not a fully blown cut crease. So that's why I applied the shadow with my fingers because I wanted more of the intensity with that rather than this brush wouldn't give it that much pigment because it is a blending brush whereas your finger will pick up the pigment more easily and disperse it into your eyelids. And then I'll go in with the first brush that I use. There's nothing on this at all and again I'm going to use the angled side down and just blend that in further and I'm going to pick up a little bit on the brush just to help it blend a little bit more and then go back in with my finger to apply in the middle because again once you blend everything out the colours do tend to fade a little bit just reapply and it will bring back that intensity as well and then go back to my makeup geek brush again so I'm happy with that. So now, I've not got my eyeliner pencil out. It's like the most stubbiest little pencil as well. So I always forget to, to take it out. So I'm gonna take my Open Decay Perversion Liner and just tight line my upper lash line. This will just help to make your eyelashes look a bit more thicker and there's not that skin in between lashes and your eyeshadow. And yeah, that. Um, and then I'm going to line my lash line. I'm going to line my lash line with my Maybelline Exaggerate, I think it is. Oh, so that's a Rimmel. The Rimmel Exaggerate liner. I'm just literally going to line the top lash line. Just do a thin line. For me, when I'm applying liquid liner, I find it easier to open my eyes and do it. Now I'm just going to apply my mascara and everything and then I'll do the other eye and come my neck. <laughs> so I'm back and as you can tell I've done my eyes and I've got a inner corner highlight and the one that I went in with is Sarcophagus from Jeffree Star's um, Skin Frost highlighters. I'll just bring you in a bit closer so you can see the eye. So as you can see, um, I've not made a proper cut crease. It's actually blended. So it just gives it that softer look. 
So now I'm going to go in with my lip colour and I was trying to decide between these three from Lime Crime. So I thought I'd do a bit something different today. So I've gone in with Pink Velvet from Lime Crime. So I don't tend to wear a lot of pink lipsticks anyway, so I'll just apply this. It's quite bright. I feel like I need a mirror like to go right into it. Because I'm blind. I'm quite picky with my cupids though. So this basically is the vinyl look. So as you can see, it's very bronzy, very summery so what i might do is just call this like my step into spring look even though it's freezing cold today it's been raining and the sun went in and out about five times when i was doing my eye makeup and tomorrow it's forecasted to snow <laughs> yay so yeah so this basically is the look um, if you enjoyed it then please give it a big thumbs up for me as well, it would really help me out. And if you aren't subscribed already to my channel then please do and hopefully I'll see you all soon. Bye.